Yeah. This tree is um, iconic or symbolic. Mm -hmm. It's actually again dying at the moment. And so they're going to take great trouble to try and save it and prune off bits. We just had a message today to all the fellows saying that. Because Cambridge is like Japanese cities, there's no real center. Most European cities, or Beijing has Tiananmen Square, or you know, they have a center and you say, well, that's the middle, and then everything comes out from it. Cambridge and uh, English cities and um, Japan, the, the cities don't really have centers. So here, if you say, well, where is the university? If you're a, a visitor to Cambridge and people say, well, take me to the university, the, the cab drivers here don't know where to take you. They say, well, what do you mean? Do you want King's College or do you want the Senate House? Or what? Well, there is no university. It's everywhere, but nowhere. And that's symbolized by this area here. So. Some people would say, well, the centre of the university is not actually a university, it's King's College Chapel. Other people would say, well, it's Great St Mary's Church, which is there. Other people would say it's the Senate House, which is there, but they're all equally important. So to my mind, and for many people, actually, the thing that is in between all those three is a living object, a tree. And for that, for us in Cambridge, that's really nice because Cambridge is filled with a number of great old trees with histories, Milton's, Malvern tree, other trees planted by famous people. And so having a tree, a living tree, as the centre or core of this place represents its dynamism. And it also is a soft and gentle contrast to the chapel.